Steven Universe is the property of Cartoon Network, Rebecca Sugar, and its respective owners. Any and all footage or images have been used for the sole purpose of critique or parody, and as such are protected under fair use. Please support the official release. Life can get really intense, huh? Yeah, especially your life. Let's see. Alien abduction. Going to a weird zoo for humans in space. And sneaking out right past a pair of intergalactic tyrants. It's nice to know we can still have peaceful days like this without any trouble. Good night, Steven. Good night, Sadie. Sadie never came home last night? <laughs> Steven, do you know what you're doing? She wouldn't have wanted this, but I do. Are you my dad? Hey, how are you? I'm, you know what, forget my name, my boy, my girl, man, woman, child. Have you seen this Steven Bomb 6 trailer? This is hype this is crazy <laughs> i lost my mind i was just you know waking up i've made some eggs some waffles i was about to watch some anime i go on twitter and i see this heat oh my i'm blown the i'm blown away right now i need to to contain myself so i can actually bring something to this video oh man th things can really get intense for sure steven's all new adventure starts may eighth i'm ready i'm ready oh man all right so this is a 49 second trailer and it opens up with steven and connie eating the bits and just talking and they're pretty much recapping and reflecting on the previous steven bomb and just the insanity that occurs within steven's life and something that i really liked is that they called the diamonds tyrants now, this is pretty self-explanatory, like, th there definitely are tyrants, but it's important for Steven to recognize them as tyrants because he shed the same tears as Blue Diamond, and I don't want him to go along the path of, well, she has feelings, maybe I, maybe I should give her a chance and stuff like, n no. You have to see them as an opposing force, and if they submit, if they, you know, concede defeat then okay that's a different story but i don't want him to go soft on them i mean his heart has to be in this but it can't be what holds him back moving on we see an empty beach city like everywhere is just very eerie like there's the flickering lights overhead and stuff like that it's just desolate nobody is there it's empty and seemingly steven was out with sadie one night and she never came back home and that's very interesting because what that tells me is that he had a conversation with Sadie's mother. Um, I don't know if she would di directly go to Steven or he would just see her like distraught or something. But that's very interesting. I, I would think that she would initially go to Lars, but maybe Lars is missing as well. You know, I really like that the whole alien abduction thing is in a series about aliens. It's like very fitting. It had to have happened at some point. And I'm glad it's happening right now. The diamonds are moving fast. Like they're already on earth harvesting whoever they think is fit. That's wild. Next, we see Garnet going in for a attack. And it's a very artistic shot, I'd say. Like the background, you can't tell where she is or what's happening. It's just one of those um, artistic action sequences. So I'm curious who she's fighting, of course. And for some reason, based on the background, I may be wrong, this is just me jumping to conclusions, but I feel as though, based on the background, this is gonna be a quick sequence of events. Like, there, it's just going to be a quick exchange. There's not gonna be a long fighting between her and whoever she's targeting. It's just gonna be a snap, just, Oh, she either misses, she like is too late, something like that. It's not gonna be a full on fight. The next shot is pretty interesting. Steven is in a log and Connie has her sword drawn and Connie looks terrified. She is scared. And this is something that she had a problem with in, um, what was the episode, Gem Hunt or something like that? Where she had to fight the corrupted gems and she was just scared. And that's the thing, Connie doesn't have much battle experience in which she's been triumphant against whoever 
she's fighting she is definitely scared here and steven is also scared he may be scared for connie but he's not looking at connie really i'm kind of freaked out because you know for steven to be incapacitated in that sense he only has one arm out um i'm questioning why he's in a log and you know who is connie afraid of who is she fighting what is happening this is wild next we have a night shot and steven is on his phone looking around like he's freaking out he's definitely looking for someone and you know of course he's looking for someone because everyone's getting abducted he wants to get to the bottom of this because it's freaking him out everyone in his town is suddenly just disappearing and you know considering he's going to such lengths to figure this all out i'm wondering how the gems are acting at this point you know because sometimes they don't get into those sorts of things they stay out of it but i feel as though when it reaches a certain point of many people are missing then they'll in intervene then they'll be like okay this is not normal this is something that requires their intervention and i'm questioning if they would remember at the very least that blue diamond did admit that she wanted more humans for the zoo that she still wanted more earth specimens um whether or not they do remember it it's It'd be weird that they wouldn't once again similar to the whole ruby fiasco but at this point i don't really care because it's gonna get addressed anyways and in the next shot we have onion a missing poster of onion and don't be deceived the last time onion was spotted wasn't in the arcade that's actually a wanted poster because onion is a straight up delinquent but it seems like someone has replaced the word wanted with missing and i would assume that would either be his family or Steven or someone along those lines who wants to find him. And I feel like it would make sense for Onion to be the first person to go missing because Onion is weird. And at first, if you see that Onion's missing, you would not really think too much of it if you knew who he was, you know? So I feel as though that would be an interesting segue. That would begin it and everyone would just be like, okay, where is Onion? But they wouldn't be too startled. But once Sadie goes missing, then it's like, okay, something's not right about this. Then we have this shot that just gives you goosebumps. Pearl is in the water crying with her mouth covered. And I don't know what she's looking at, but she's looking up. I'm just going to presume that there's a ship or there's a gem that she recognizes or something along those lines. Just know that when this scene is on TV, it's going to be crazy. This seems very intense. And for her to be in the water, that means that they were defeated. They were, you know, pushed down and just stomped on. I'm, <laughs> I'm baffled. This is going to be wild. All right. So once again, we have a forest shot and Steven gets flung into a tree and sustains a, quite a bit of damage. And next to him, there's like... I don't know that log thing maybe that's what he was inside of i don't really know i'm not gonna say that right now I'm not gonna jump to conclusions but steven getting hit like that definitely a gem and i feel as though they would go to this forest in search of onion because you know the whole onion gang thing that's where the onion gang was so maybe steven would have a hunch that maybe that's where onion is uh-uh you, you found somebody else obviously and i guess connie was with him or maybe this is before connie intervention or after i don't know then we have pearl and amethyst and pearl says steven do you know what you're doing wow so yeah once again steven is taking the leadership role for himself and he's about to do something bold something without the consent of the rest of the crystal gems and i don't know if this is like a cut to a different scene or it's one cohesive scene but steven steps into like a bright light and puts a thumbs up with a smile so i guess he knows what he's doing um the light like there's a line in between when it closes it's sort of like a door and it is yellow it's, it has a yellowish tint so i'm assuming this is you know one of yellow diamond ships picking up humans that's where they're picking him up and you can't tell if steven is a human or not you know his gem is underneath his shirt so he can pass as a human he goes into there and it's all good and dandy but definitely if they're going to pink diamond zoo um holly blue agate's gonna recognize the kid but i'm curious what steven's plan may be with this hopefully he's got something good for us you know actually something intellectual because that confidence he showed 
with his thumb up and a smile definitely has a plan. But at the same time, if he did indeed engage with a gem in the forest, will that play a role into in this? Like, will that get him into any trouble? I don't know. Then we have what I think is the most hype scene of this entire trailer. There's Onion being stalked by two silhouettes, two shadows, and <laughs> man, I don't I don't even know what to what to think of this. This is pretty wild. We have like a sort of masculine um, robot Frankenstein looking shadow next to a very pixie-esque, almost lapis sort of winged creature. So two gems at once picking up Onion. And it's pretty interesting, it's pretty funny because the whole Onion is Yellow Diamond thing for Yellow Diamond scouts or whatever to go and pick him up. Interesting, very interesting. And pick him up first is what I'm assuming. Very interesting. And I am honestly wondering if the gem on the right is in any way, shape, or form related to Lapis. You know, of course gems don't have siblings and things like that, but the type of gem she is, is she in any way similar to Lapis? Like, say how a Jasper is similar to an Amethyst or to a Rose Quartz, you know? And I'm also curious if these gems are Era 2 gems or not. Next is Steven holding onto his chest and saying that she wouldn't have wanted this, but I do. And it's kind of obvious that he's talking about Rose Quartz. He's making his own decisions. He's his mom and he recognizes that, but he has to make his own decisions. He has to own up to whatever mistakes she may have made and just her not finishing her battles. He has to end them all now. He's gotta be the man and I like that. Then there's the... Are you my dad? Um, I just feel as though this is like a homeworld gem making a an assessment of humans that is incorrect, like how Peridot thought that Steven was his own species, the Steven, or how Rose once believed infants to be a different species from humans. And of course, the weirdest thing doesn't have a picture to go along with it, but yeah, this, this trailer was something else, man. This Steven bomb is gonna be incredible. And I say that especially because the last Steven bomb, I think, was the best Steven bomb we've ever had for the show. But that was all just set up. <laughs> think about that. All of that was crazy, wild, extraordinary, but it was only to make this that much more impactful. And I hope you're all ready for this insanity. I cannot wait. But guys, be sure to let me know what you thought about this trailer. Did you pick up on anything that I may have missed? And what do you think about everything that I said? Drop that in the comments and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.